there. Good morning, my friends. Good morning, my friends. It is 8 a.m. Usually I wake up around 6 to 8 a.m. We're gonna have a productive day today once I eventually get up. now I am going to do my makeup later because that takes forever and I need to walk my dog so here we go I don't know if that actually worked <laughs> this is the fit for today I am wearing a white shirt sleeve blouse and then some stretchy pants oh I have like a thing on my eye oh my god I'm gonna go walk my dogs now and then I will do my makeup when I come back got my makeup on it is 11 30 a.m so we're kind of good on time i'm gonna have my vitamins now i absolutely hate swallowing pills it's like anytime i put a pill in my mouth i just forget how to swallow i don't even know why these pills aren't even that big taking iron supplements Ugh. Man, that was a hard pill to swallow. Next, I'm taking my multivitamins. I don't really know if these are effective. Kind of want to maybe try something else other than gummies, but I also hate swallowing pills. Last one, vitamin B12. 
This one I put under my tongue and just let it dissolve. I like these ones, but now we are done with the vitamins. I took a little break and watched some YouTube videos. I have to go and get some groceries soon, but I don't know when I want to leave. I think I'll leave exactly at 12. It's 11.47 right now. I'm gonna plan out my day a little bit just so I don't feel lost. Maybe I could also plan what I'm gonna buy. I also want to make a stir fry maybe today. I want some vegetables in my system and make a veggie stir fry. I also want to listen to a cute playlist so I have the right mood. I planned out what I need to do today. I'm gonna grocery shop and then I'm gonna hopefully clean my room. I haven't really finished unpacking since I got back from LA a few weeks ago. And then I want to treat myself by making an almond milk latte. And then I'm gonna plan a video, fold my laundry, hang up some Polaroids that I took. But first I need to go grocery shopping. I have my reusable bag. We are ready to go. I'm not gonna film and drive. I'll see you at Trader Joe's. I got lost three times trying to get here. How's that even possible? Let's go shopping. shopping guys i love trader joe's so much i got so much healthy food for so little the people are really nice just a good time good experience i'm gonna go home now i got a huge haul i'll show you later and i desperately need a nice latte so i'm gonna make that as soon as i get home everything i bought is mostly for dinner so i'm not going to cook right now but see you at home for my haul i got pretzel sticks bananas vegetable gyoza soyaki sauce broccoli bell pepper carrots mushrooms and zucchini what a beautiful haul All right, so breaking down my almond milk latte recipe, I use a Nespresso machine and I use a single espresso shot. The name of the cup is Volteso. You do not need a Nespresso machine to make a latte. This is just the machine that I got for myself because it's simple to use and it's convenient. Not sponsored by the way, I just have this machine. I just use a full cup of ice because the espresso is hot. And now we have a single shot of espresso. And then to make it a latte, I am putting in my milk of choice, which is almond milk. You can use whatever milk you'd like or you could just put in water and that becomes an iced americano or heck you can just have the espresso by itself and after you swirl it all together you have a beautiful iced almond milk latte yay I give it a 10 out of 10. And we are back after two hours I desperately need some natural light in this room I'm gonna take down my painting oh my god light whoa ouch Oh, the light. I usually have my painting up here for privacy just because I removed my curtain. I am in the search for new curtains, but I haven't had the time to actually go and find curtains. I just want simple white curtains. I could also get blinds, but they are a little pricey. But blinds also take up less space. So I'll have to think hard about that. But in the meantime, I don't have curtains, so I'm exposed to the world. <laughs> the window over there has blinds, and if you have noticed, they are pink. The owner switched some curtains around, and so I have pink curtains now. I'm definitely thinking of removing it too, or I might just put curtains below the blind and just put the blinds up. I've been talking about curtains for too long now. I have a nice coaster here, so I'm not damaging my table. Definitely recommend coasters. So if you did see me make lattes on my Instagram story, now you know the truth. It's an espresso machine. I don't have the energy for espresso, machines if you can actually deal with coffee beans and all that i recommend an espresso machine it's less clutter and trash and all that but nespresso does have a recycling system it gives you this bag that you can send with all the used capsules you could send it off mail it off my friend has an espresso machine she uses it every single day she deals with that whole tamping whatever thing so it's really up to you i think right now i'm just going to plan my videos and take care of other things i also did want to look up some stuff i want to look up a gym membership i want to look up how to get a passport all those things i've been kind of procrastinating let's get stuff done Guys, I can feel like my eyes, like they're wide open now. <laughs> I used to say that caffeine doesn't work on me, but I think it does now. <laughs> Gonna drink some water. Remember to stay hydrated, my friends. Oh, mm. usually caffeine makes my hands shake. I think we're okay though.
this time I wanna this this time I wanna cut it into an S shape. Let's see if I can. Mm -hmm. My only talent, isn't it beautiful? It is currently 4 p.m. and now I'm just going to decorate my wall a little bit with some Polaroids. I took some Polaroids. I was gonna say this weekend, what day is it today? It's Friday? So in the middle of the week, I took some Polaroids <laughs> and I wanna hang them up. I will show you guys what the Polaroids are first. Here is a picture of me in front of a tree. My face kind of got washed up, but that's okay. I'm still kind of there. I took a picture of the ocean. Here's a picture of me and my friend Sophia and there's also Chimmy. I really like this one. It's a picture of me next to the ocean sitting on a bench. And then here's another picture of the sky and they're really cute and I'm gonna hang them up. So instead of hanging it on yarn, I'm going to just tape it onto the wall with some cute washi tape that you can kind of see it's like this pink polka dot color i am going to hang up my first one so i have my washi tape and i'm just gonna cut a little tiny strip and since it's washi tape it won't damage my wall or the polaroid i'm going to just stick it on here if you can see give enough room for it to stick onto the wall and then i'm just gonna put it up I think it doesn't really matter where it goes as long as it's on the wall. Then I just put one more piece of tape. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. I love having pictures of nature on my wall. It reminds me to go outside and not stay in my room all day. Yay! And then I'm going to put up this picture of me. These are just older Polaroids and then this is a piece of post-it paper. I'm gonna put one more picture here and then just everywhere else. Recently, I've been taking more Polaroids just because I want to capture moments more. Of course, living in the moment's good too, but it's nice to take some pictures as well. People think that, oh, everyone's just taking pictures of things on their phones now or whatever, but you know, people back then too, they recorded stuff with their video cameras, their camcorders, whatever technology they had back in the day. Humans just want to capture things sometimes. So just having a nice balance of being in the moments and capturing moments I think is key. Here's the wall so far. We've got more Polaroids up. I want to take more pictures so it can fill all the way up. Here are more Polaroids that I took. They took them about a week ago and they are of my dogs. Having my dogs to look at as I'm working is a form of self-care and I'm here for it. Oh, that's too low, okay. Okay, you guys, I decided I'm going to just clean my room once and for all. I was this close to just skipping cleaning because of my laziness, but I'm going to take this video filming opportunity to be productive and get it done and just rip the band-aid. I'm going to do this while I still have caffeine in my brain. Let's go. You guys, I need more furniture in my room. I don't have room for anything. Like, where do I put these? I don't want it just sitting on my bookshelf, but I might have to. I don't want it in my background either. I need like a bookshelf or something. Whatever, that's that's not bad, okay. Okay, I eventually finished cleaning. May not look like a huge difference, but I can walk everywhere now. I used to stumble over everything, but it's all clean now. Let me show you my room. This is empty. This is my dirty laundry pile, and then this is the pile of clothes that I have to fold soon. All clean, bed is made, it's always made. And then desk is nice and clean as well. I have to wash that. All clean. I went ahead and did other stuff, so now it's 6.40. I think I'm going to make dinner like right about now. I think for dinner I'm going to just do a quick montage of it because this day has honestly been very long. I have a series on my channel dedicated to cooking so I think a montage is fine enough for this video. Enter the montage. Hello there, I'm back with a voiceover and we're going to make a nice stir fry. Here are all my vegetables and tofu. I'm just going to point out a few things, make sure that all your vegetables are nicely washed. And then also another thing, I am draining water out of my tofu off screen. I did that whole paper towel stacking method where you put paper towels on a plate and then I placed the tofu on top of the paper towels then I placed more paper towels on top of the tofu and then I stacked a plate and a cup on top of the tofu to weigh it down and bring out the water. As for all the vegetables, it's very simple. I just cut them into bite-sized pieces with a good knife. Be very careful if you're doing this. Please don't injure yourself. And now you have lots of beautifully cut vegetables. And then now I'm just cutting the tofu into a good size. And now we can begin cooking the stir fry. Again, this is very easy. You're basically just pan frying everything, heating everything up. First, I spread out some olive oil 
and then I place the tofu in a nice single layer. I let the tofu sit for a few minutes and then I kind of lift one piece to see if it browned a bit. If it does brown, then I flip everything over. Keep your eye on the tofu, do not burn them, and then take them off the pan and let them rest. As for all the vegetables, I kind of cook them all the same way. I just pan fry them with some olive oil and then I put a little bit of garlic salt. Not too much garlic salt and pepper because we are going to put a soyaki sauce in the end which has a lot of sodium. You guys have to be careful. I cook all the vegetables separately just so that nothing turns soggy or overcooked. By the way, if you see me walking back and forth, that's me playing with the dogs and watching Run BTS on the TV. And then finally, we're going to cook everything one last time but all together. All the veggies, all the tofu. I'm adding some soyaki sauce. Also, make sure you're not allergic to anything by the way. And then just for a final kick, I'm going to add red pepper flakes. And we're all done. I just felt like a cooking channel for a second. <laughs> but this is one of my favorite things to make. I post about it on my Instagram story a lot and you guys always ask for a recipe so I thought a voiceover was appropriate. But here we go. After a lot of work, I'm finally going to try it. What do I think? Oh yes, that's a good, good reaction. I love it. 10 out of 10. That is enough for this little mukbang. I'm gonna go off screen and eat my food. So as you can see, I did my nighttime routine. I have my retainers on and it is actually midnight. After dinner, I got distracted and watched a bunch of videos on YouTube. They're all BTS videos. Was it productive? I think so. To me, I feel like just doing something with your day is productive. The smallest thing is something. And you shouldn't think a day is wasted if you didn't do something super life-changing or super productive. I think going out for a walk or going to get groceries, cooking yourself something nice, anything like that is being productive as long as you're taking care of yourself. And others, of course, you know, just being a kind and decent person, I think that is being productive. But I honestly think I did a lot. I took care of a lot of things. My room is beautifully clean. I am nice and clean. I just showered and all that. I did say I was gonna fold my laundry, but that can wait for another day. I'm not staying up till 12.30 or 1 a.m. to do it. I don't think that's being productive. I think that is wasting the time that I could be sleeping and taking care of my health. But anyway, that is it for this productive day of my life. It is so hard to talk, so I'm going to end it here. I have a whole freaking retainer in my mouth. I forgot to wear my retainer last night, so my teeth are going through it. Thank you for joining me on this day, and I will see you in my next video. Bring it in, and good night, my friends.